Our next guest, who is Tom Lee, says he expects uh, stocks to draw down at some point in the first half, but hasn't seen the signs of a near-term top, term top. Let's bring in Tom Lee, managing partner, head of research at Fundstrat Global Advisors, as well as a CNBC contributor. I referenced our uh, conversation. We weren't in makeup per se. Sometimes we talk in makeup. This just happened to be outside of the makeup room. Yes. But we're still talking. Um, I like it better when we're actually sitting down and sort of, you know, I, I feel like that stimulates me when yes. we're, when we're both. <laughs> not really. You said immediately uh, there's some dry powder left. It's not, it's not over yet, although it, there are some signs of fatigue. Yes. I mean, we're, we've rallied 16 weeks, up 23 percent. The last two sort of long rallies were 16 to 19 weeks and 21 to 22 percent. So it's mature, but we don't see the signs of the tops. Normally, like margin debt is only 700 billion. It was 900 billion in October 21, and there's still six trillion of cash on the sidelines. And even this week into NVIDIA earnings, I kind of see the stock kind of weak into the report, which makes me think the stock could surprise to the upside. And I think that would sort of help us get some more juice on the upside from here. That's interesting. The, the, one of your calls, which, uh, and, and I remember at the time, we just said, stop doing that. Uh, it was like a weekly call for, for the <laughs> S&P based on an inflation number, on, an, on a friendly inflation number. Last week, uh, we did not get uh, friendly inflation numbers. But do you think that the trend is intact? Yes, I think there are some difficult seasonals because, uh, you know, companies raised prices in January. That made January look like a hot CPI number. And I think February CPI, which comes out next month, is going to reverse some of that. And it's going to put investors in the bond market thinking inflation is falling again. So. Oh, my God, that'd be a great time for another one of your calls. If you hadn't sworn off making a call on where the S&P will be in a week, that would be a good time to do it. But don't. Yes, I've, I've, I've promised myself not to do that. <laughs> Okay. Um, but that, but can I just ask one question? Given this sort of um, short-term bearish, is it, would you call it short-term bearish? Well, I think we're, there's going to be a moment where investors have to get cautious. But, I, yeah, I mean, this, it's a maturing rally. So I don't think, you know, this is. So I guess the question is, for those folks who are sitting around with cash right now, everyone's always trying to figure out, I have a little cash. If they have cash, what am I supposed to do? Are they supposed to wait was this some kind of grand moment to put it in the market? And, of course, timing is always sort of a challenging thing to do. Are they supposed to put it in Bitcoin? I know we'll probably get there in about a second. What would you, what would you be doing with your money if you, if, you knew that, if you knew things were about to get worse and not better? Well, uh, we know markets have a pretty good 12-month runway from here. And I don't think investors should be 100 percent cash. I, I think if they have been sitting on cash and missed a lot of this 20 yeah, four percent move. I think they need to dollar cost average. You know, put a little bit in on weakness, and this has been a kind of a, a weak week. Um, and then just be patient. I think patient money is really the money that's been working the last few years. But, but you don't think that uh, that the Fed needs to stay uh, tighter longer because inflation is still a major problem. You think that we will get some rate cuts this year? Yes, and you know, I think again. I know the statistics don't show up, but I think the job market has weakened a lot. Um, you know, one of the big drivers of inflation for the past eight months has been auto insurance, you know, up 23 percent. I'm not sure monetary policy really gets auto insurance rates down. It just has to play out. And, you know, housing is starting to really come out the other side so we can get lower inflation. Is it still get a year. soft landing or is it getting harder? I, I think the economy's actually stabilizing us. And then if we get lower interest rates, it actually really stabilizes the okay. economy.